Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to style the input in Protopy. Aside from the text, Protopy provides input which prompts a native keyboard in your phone. You can type anything in the input in real time on your preview. Let's get started. I've already imported my design from Figma. But the important texts are static. So I will add a new input and style it. To start, I will add an input component from the top left toolbar. When I click this input, the native keyboard pops up. And when I type in, the placeholder disappears and display what I'm typing in real time. Let's style this input one by one. When you check the lay layout panel and scroll down, you can see many options for the input. You can style the text, placeholder, background style, keypad options, etc. First, I will change the input size to 377 pixel width by 56 pixel height. Then, in the text section, I will change the font style to Meriwether Bold and color to dark brown, like a sign-up text. This text section is where you can style the text that you will type in. Now, I will go to the placeholder section and change the text color like a bottom section with 70% fill. Then, I will change the placeholder text to email address. In preview, the placeholder text change from input to email address. Next, I will go to the background style and make the radius to 100 to completely around the corner. Also, I will change the background color to white and border to 2 pixels with the same color as the button. Right below, I can also customize the padding of the input. To make a space for the icon, I will push the left padding to 60 pixels. Then, I will copy the email icon and paste it to the input. We are pretty much done here. I will re replace the input with the static image. Last but not least, there is a keypad option. Just to quickly show you the password protected keypad option, I've already styled the password as I did in the email address input. When I changed the type to text password, you can see when I type in, the input display the dots instead of what I actually write. There are different options, but I will let you explore the rest. So that's it. There are a lot more you can do with the input field, such as storing the data what you write and reuse it to somewhere else you want to show. I will share more tips about the input field in upcoming videos. That's it for today. I hope you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to get updates for upcoming videos. See you soon!